Fragrances do go on sale. The guy was like, let me guess, you're here for the gold bottle. Oh my God. Why are you guessing that, sir? Is that the fragrance that all the black, the, the dope boys like? Oh, and, and hold on, hold on. Let me just tell you, let me give you a little bit of tea. I want to hear what the streets got to say. I'm going on the social to see what's hot, what's popular. I owned over like 300 fragrances. I threw them all out. I keep saying vlog. I'm doing a vlog. That oil gonna rub off on me. And they ain't gonna forget you about me. And look, y'all playing with me. Y'all better, y'all better get my fragrance. Yeah, I'm sweet. But I'm not like kiddish sweet. I'm not like cotton candy sweet. I'm like that subtle grown woman sweet. Hey. Fragrances, 
you got like 25 um, of these tickets and you could put them in for these different baskets that they had around the said department store. And so they had a women's fragrance basket. And I was like, well, let me just go ahead and put all of our tickets into this fragrance basket and see if we can get more fragrances. So we ended up winning the basket because we, we, we did a lot of damage in the department store. We ended up getting the call and we won the basket. So some of these I purchased for discounts. Some of these I purchased on my own full price. And then also some of them were the ones that were gifted in the gift basket. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you all of them and we're going to see how it goes. So first up, we have Valentino's Born in Roma. Um, I've been hearing a lot about this fragrance right here. The packaging is really cute. And one thing I will say, when I go to the grocery, excuse me, the department store, right? When I go to the department store, and they're trying to sell me, say I know I'm coming in specifically for a 1.7 ounce or I'm coming in for a three ounce bottle of perfume and they try to upsell me the gift box. I'm like, no, I don't mm -mm, No, I'm coming in to just get this. Don't try to sell me on nothing. This is what I want. This is what I came in for, you know, but I learned sometimes the gift set is the same price as you just going in and get the one bottle. So what you're getting is. Oh my God. Oh my, my daughter got me. She came in town for Thanksgiving from college and she took the, the trailer side. Look at that, it's gone. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Okay, so in a perfect world, I'm gonna kill her, I'm gonna kill her. In a perfect world, the travel size would be in here. So I came to purchase, I knew on my list, I wanted to purchase this right here. I think this is a 3.4 ounce right here. And the lady was trying to say, you know, you can get the gift set for the same price as just get the 3.4 ounce. And I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know why in my 20s when the fragrance counter or the fragrance ladies would try to sell me on a, a gift set. I don't want no, I came in here to just get this. But why would I not purchase the gift set for the same price as just getting this? And you get the travel size and then also you get either lotion or the shower gel. In this case right here, it comes with the moisturizing body lotion. So don't think they always trying to upsell you. Sometimes they're trying to just have you get your money's worth. So family we got valentino born in roma when you're out there holiday shopping don't let them don't look get your money's worth if the gift set makes more sense than just getting one bottle you can keep the bottle for yourself or give it away for a gift give somebody the whole gift set or you can keep the travel size and the lotion or the shower gel for yourself okay. we're gonna do a first impression later on in another video but right now we're just showing you what we got so family we got valentino born in roma your girl maria she gonna show you she gonna tell you how to smell later okay up next Clean Reserve. Now, they are known for their cleaner ingredients. And I used to wear one called Suede Oud, which I know for a fact. Boop! I purchased Suede Oud. This is my own money, no discount, because I always love this one. Um, but the one I keep hearing about and the girls are talking about is the one, the scent called Skin. And I'll be honest, a little disclaimer, I tried this the other day. And I actually, I think if I can, I'll insert the video of when I tried it down in here so you can watch it along. Hey, y'all, I know I'm looking a hot mess, but I had to throw this video up in here. And I tried the Clean Reserve Skin. I wanted to smell something. I wanted to test it while I was working out. I wanted to smell something pleasant while I was downstairs working out. So I was like, you know what? Let me just rip open this bag right here, this box right here, and try it because I did not get to smell it inside of Sephora because the tester was gone. So I had the suede oud, but the um, skin... I have never smelled it before and I just sprayed it on and you want to know what it smells like to me? It smells like pink sugar, but a more mature, sweet, sexy. It has the same, it has some note that pink sugar, you know, the popular pink sugar. And I'll probably put a picture in it, you know, down below or something, but it smells like pink sugar, but pink sugar is kind of like girly, like just not getting the fragrances. I'm really young. My, my fragrance palette is very immature. Skin gives more grown pink sugar soft sexy sensual i can see myself wearing this to bed like even it's gonna be pleasant during my workout like it's gonna be a really nice soft sweet but not too sweet a subtle sweet like i'm cute but you can come give me a hug but um you know you try to have to get my number but i might call you like tomorrow i'm not gonna call you tonight because tonight would be desperate but i might call you tomorrow so go ahead and slip me your number like that kind of cute like flirty cute i feel like pink sugar is like boom in your face i'm trying to be sexy i'm trying to get god i'm trying to get chosen pick me vibes this is this is more like subtle the sexy you know, i tried skin and i will say this if you've ever smelled the fragrance pink sugar and for some people pink sugar is just way too sweet it's like 
Woo, okay, it gives you baby doll, it gives you young, fruity, very heavy, sweet, musky, sugary, um, but it smells good. It was very popular maybe like 15 years ago. It was very popular. People still use it today. Skin reminds me of pink sugar, but it's more of a, um, more mature, more like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sweet, but I'm not like kiddish sweet. I'm not like cotton candy sweet. I'm like that subtle grown woman sweet. You know, I'm like that going to wear it to bed because it, it does actually it's funny that it's called skin because it really does sit very close to the skin when you wear it. this is a bottle right here when you wear it, it sits really close to the skin i have put it on i wanted to try it on when i was working out and i i don't know if it's just because i was sweating when i was working out when i got done my workout like an hour and a half later i could no longer it was like very subtle i really couldn't smell it so it's not really strong and i sprayed a lot on it because i really wanted to come back here and tell you guys what i thought about it and it just was really soft. It was sweet. It reminds me of something that I would put on after the shower, wear to bed. You know how you take a shower, you shower gel, and when you put the shower gel, when you're in the shower, you can smell it. It's really heavy on your rag, your wash rag, and things like that, your sponge, whatever you use. And then once you rinse it off, you get out of the shower. You kind of still smell it on you, but it's not as strong as it was when you were pouring it onto your rag. That's what this reminds me of. That's how this sits on my skin, how or how it sat on my skin the few times that I wore it. So I will say it reminds me it has it has to have similar ingredients to that pink sugar perfume. If you know the one I'm talking about, you know pink sugar. It's all in Sephora. It's everywhere. The, the girls they used to love it back in the day. They probably still wear it. I mean, it has to still be popular because you can go to Sephora and get it now. So it must. They're not going to keep a fragrance on their shelves that's not selling. So if you like pink sugar or if you, you smell pink sugar and you're like, oh, my God, why does everybody like this? And it was too much for you. Reserve skin might be your girl right here. It's subtle. It's sweet. It's like that. I'm cute. I'm sweet. But not too overpowering. Definitely a, um, you know, you're going to get some action. Get out of the shower. You're about to get in the bed. You can put this on at night. It'll make you have sweet drinks, okay? So that is Reserve Pink. I mean, Reserve, I'm about to call it Pink Sugar. This is Reserve Skin. And then my favorite is, um, it's called Suede Oud by Reserve as well. So we'll get into that on another video. I'll test it out. Because I haven't actually, I haven't smelled this in a while. I was on the website getting the um, skin. And of course, they showed me Suede Oud. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I remember I used to wear that back in my like early 30s. So I just happened to just give me, um, a bottle of it, but I'm going to do a, in another video, we're going to spray it and see if I still feel the same way about it because your profile, your scent profile changes over time. So hopefully I still like it, but I do remember I used to love it. So I have purchased the suede oud as well. All right. I can talk about fragrances all day. We're not going to make this. One thing we're not going to do, we're not going to make this a two hour video about fragrances. So here, let's get into it. So got the Coco Chanel Nior. Is this? Yeah. Coco Chanel Nior. I heard this was a great, um, evening scent if it can go this is my lights right here there it goes i heard this was a great evening scent now if you know anything about chanel the fragrances are a little mature but i heard it's a really great evening scent i will test it out definitely an evening scent i mean hence a dark bottle like this maybe it's gonna think you think it's like a fall scent or an evening scent but coco chanel i cannot stand chanel number five i just cannot it's just it's, i just this is Mm -mm. Nope, I don't like it. So I'm going to try this one, see if I like it. And we're going to talk about it in another video. That was part of the gift set. And I said I had won the um, gift set. This is one of the ones that was in the gift set. Also, the Mademoiselle body cream. Woo! It's a nice size body cream, too. And I have worn this one. I got a couple compliments on the hand cream. And that came in this set free as well. Like, ah! Ooh. Right here. Amouage. Guidance, baby! I purchased Guidance. I cannot wait to crack it open. Look, the packaging looks cute. I haven't opened it up yet, but I will. We're going to get into it. Um, this is the one all the girls are talking about. I, they said it smells really great. I'm blind buying a lot of these. So a lot of people don't recommend you blind buying, you know, fragrances. But, I, I hey, I'm risky. So we're going to try Guidance because I heard that's a, the bomb. I got some for my husband. I got YSL myself. This might be something if you ladies are looking to get a significant other something for the holidays. They're saying this one right here, YSL myself for men, is a is one to have. So make sure if you're at the um, department stores this holiday season, you go and test that out and see if you like it. Now, everybody knows, load this flower bomb. Fly your fly. Hey, okay. You, everybody knows about 
uh, flower bomb, the fragrance, but I never had a chance to smell the nectar, which I heard was really sweet, but it was like, like she's that girl. So I want to make sure that I get my, my nose on this one right here to see what it does. Cause I know I love the original flower bomb, but to be honest with you, um, I only purchased it one time and I think I only purchased it one time because I got, I'm one of those people, like, I don't want to wear what everybody else is wearing per se, but if a fragrance is good, it's good. So it's no, you can't hate, you can't deny it. If it's a good fragrance, which Flower Bomb is, it still is a classic. It's a great fragrance. I mean, heck, they made a song out of it, so that meant all the girls were wearing it. But I want to try the Nectar one, which I heard was sweeter. So we'll get into that. And, oh, this one right here. I was watching a few videos about Ebony Wood. Can you see that? From Zara. And... $39.90, look, it has a price tag right on here. $39.90, in case you want to know the price point for this one right here. Um, the, the girls were saying that this is one of their most complimented fragrances. And so, of course, I'm like, oh, you, 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 see, you speak in my language because I do wear fragrances for myself. But who doesn't want to be complimented on how good they smell? Like, that's like, that's better than telling me, like, you cute. Like, I don't, cute is subjective, but smelling, like, babe, you smell good. I'm like, <laughs> oh, really? You notice? So they said Emmy Wood was your girl. Now, let me tell you what happened, though. I'm on the Zara website. I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and order um, Ebony Wood. Now, I was going to get the Red Temptation as well because they said it's like a knockoff. Not a knockoff. I don't even want to say dupe. No, we're not going to say dupe or knockoff. It's a inspired by that smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. And I was like, well, I own the original Baccarat Rouge, so why would I go and get Red Temptation, which is supposed to be inspired by that one? So I was like, no, let me just get the Ebony Wood. So I, I put the order in at Zara. And um, a few weeks went by. And you know how sometimes when you online shopping, you just clicking and checking out and you ain't you don't even notice what you're buying, right? So a few weeks went by. And I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't I order that one fragrance from Zara? Let me go on and check my um shipping notifications to see what happened. Go on the, um, I went on the Zara website. It was saying delivered. No, it, no, it was saying out for delivery for like two weeks. Man, I hit Zara up. Like, look, y'all playing with me. Y'all better, y'all better get my fragrance. So they canceled that order. It was like easy breezy. They canceled that order and they sent me, um, they're like, we're gonna ship you up, we're gonna ship you out a replacement. Don't worry about it, we're gonna take care of it. And lo and behold, I got the one, the replacement, and then guess what popped up the same day? The one I ordered. So now I got two, baby. I'm winning. So I might give one away for the holidays. I might re -give. Look, I'm giving gifts that just duplicates. Okay, so we got Ebony Wood. We're gonna try that in another video. Ooh, now this one right here, y'all. Don't play with me. Have y'all heard about skin potions? And let me just show you their packaging, okay? They have a fragrance called Kama Sutra, right? Oh, it's a sensual, sexy. Let me show you. Here it is right there. It's a body oil, right? And I heard Paige Marie Charles talking about it on one of her vlogs. I do like her. I love her vlogs. But she's a fragrance girl as well. I want to see her do more fragrance reviews, actually, because sis be having, she got, she got to know, she got, she, she, she know the fragrances, right? And so I was, I've never heard of this skin potion, Kama Sutra, because she was saying how it's always sold out. Sure enough, I went to their website, what was it? Sold out. They had a little, like, notify me once I become available, so I put my little email address up in there, and as soon as I got the notification a few weeks later that Kama Sutra was ready to be sold, put my credit card number in there, got it. And when I tell you, this is a sexy, like this is what a grown is sexy right here. Like you want to smell like, and, and what I like about body oils is, I'm married, so I'm, I'm going to just go here. Hopefully y'all got somebody y'all's lied to. If not, this is how you get them right here. You got the oil all over your body, right? So then when you laying next to them or you give them a hug, that oil going to rub off on them. And they ain't going to forget you about me. Because when they go back to them sheets, that, that jacket, that pillowcase, they going to smell you. Cause that oil will saturate all up in that cotton, all up in that Egyptian cotton, that, that 803 account right there, the hotel collection, it's going to be all up over that baby. They're going to be remembering you. So get you, and, and look at their packaging too. Okay. Cute like mermaid type, astral woman on the thing, looking all cute. But then one thing that sold me was, and I, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good packaging. They had like the cute moss grass with the fly petals of flowers. And I thought it was so cute. Can you see that? So if you have not heard about Skin Potion, go on and look up Google, Google Skin Potion. Go ahead and try to find Kama Sutra. 
and go ahead and put your email address in because I'm sure she probably sold, because it's the holiday too, she's probably sold out once again. So check that one out right there. What else we got? Okay, I brought Burberry Her, the Elixir. That's the one they said, the girls said they get the most compliments on too. So I got to try that. As you see, it's still in the packaging. I haven't opened it up yet. Look, I got my little dealer's uh, Google purchase right here. So um, Burberry Her Elixir, they said, is the one to get. They said that is that girl too. I got the YSL Libre, baby. But they also said, I mean, they said the regular one, you know, the La Perfume was good, but they said get the, oh no, get the, um, they had the Intense, they had the Toilette, and they had the um, Le Perfume. So I brought the Le Perfume. It was, I will say, I didn't, I didn't quite smell them yet, but it was darker, deeper, and richer than the other two that I was questioning on getting. I was like, ah, should I get that one? So I'm thinking this is going to be more of a fall scent. I'm assuming it's going to be a richer, heavier scent. I, I'll be honest with you, I did not like YSL's um, Black Opium. I purchased, I smelled it on my girlfriend, um, one of my girlfriends, and I thought it smelled really good on her. And I ended up purchasing it for myself. And it, everybody's body chemistry is different. Everything sits on your skin differently. When I put it on, I couldn't stand it. It gave me a headache. So I actually ended up, did I give it to someone else or did I give it to her? Because I knew she already owned one. I forget, but I did not like um, black opium. I'm going I'm to be, be transparent. I was one of those girls that could not, couldn't get into it. But you know what? Just like your taste buds change, your fragrance profile might change. So that was probably, I don't know how long ago that was, but I... If I smell it again, I might like it. You can't do that. I'm recording. No, get out. Tell them what. That if you ever get a gift for your for your spouse, give them just a regular wine set. For the man? Yes. That's the one you like? Just a regular wine set. Baby, you like YSL? You do? See, when people say, oh, Maria, they say, Maria, you ain't been posting weekly. I can't get no time to have a house like just quiet. Because one time I try to actually do, I try to do this maybe, I try to do this before Thanksgiving, right? Set everything up, had everything out ready to go. Because I really, I eagerly, like just, just real quick, I really wanted to open all these. I want to use them. And I'm like, no, I can't use them. I have to show the haul first. And then one thing about content creation is like, okay, if y'all really want me to come on here with like no makeup on, can I just be myself? Okay, because I'm not feeling like I can right now. Y'all don't know me like that. So I'm like, okay, I got to wait till boom. Hair done. Hair's not done. So today I just threw a hat on. Then I got to wait, boom, on a day when I got to put some makeup on or, you know, I just don't want to put makeup on for no reason. So I got the cameras ready. I had everything set up two weeks ago. They come in the house screaming, yelling, singing. You hear the alarm going off. I'm like, I can't. I need a set. So the fact that I'm up here recording and he just comes in and barges in with his own opinion, I'm going to make the young man, he's going to do content creation. Since you want to be up in the camera stuff, now we now we see you like to talk to the audience. My family up here trying to talk to me. You coming in here interjecting with your own two cents. I'm going to make the young man do content creation. And maybe he can get some coins because he does have a lot of fragrances. Let the kids know your age that are into fragrances, that are into self-care. Because a lot of men are getting into self-care now. I'm going to put that, since he want to talk to y'all so bad. So like I was saying, YSL Le Perfume is supposed to be um, one of the girls. Like, this is one of the most complimented fragrances that men love on women. So it was dark. It was richer than the um, Le Perfume. No, excuse me, the Eau de Toilette and the Perfume. The regular, you know, just the intense. So I can't wait to spray this to see the longevity, to see if I even like it. Because like I'm telling you, that Black Opium, it was not for me. It wasn't. But then I'm a little bit older now from when it came out. So I might like it now. And I got my blotter cards right here. You know I done took these from Dillard's. You know, I was like, I'm buying all these fragrances. Y'all gonna give me some cards to spray. And they did. They did. So we got some cards. We're gonna be going through these in another video. But right now, like I said, we just doing the haul. So I got the YSL right here. Ooh, one of my favorite fragrance houses. Parfums de, Mar de Marley. Parfums de Marley right here. I got Valaya, which I hear Valaya is a... Uh, that girl as well. Now, I do own um, Delina, the exclusive. Woo! But hold on. Not only did I get... Hold on. Where is my... And look, they put them in Chanel bags for me because I brought so much perfume. They was like, honey, we don't have bags for all these. Where is my... What we got right here? Boom. Look. 
I brought Valaya and the original Delina. Can you see that? So we're going to be testing these out because I have Delina the exclusive. I don't have Valaya, so this is new to my collection. But we have uh, the original Delina, so I want to compare that to the exclusive. So we're going to get to that later. I have the BGK, which I've never even heard of them. To the, the YouTubers and the TikTok girls was telling me about BDK, Passe Swore. Is that how you pronounce it? Passe Swore? That sounds, that sounds like, I don't know. We're going to get into that. That's a niche fragrance that I've never even heard of. Okay, so I got Creed Aventus. Now, usually, which I think is messed up, when I went to the Creed counter to just try to see, you know, what Aventus is all about, the guy was like, let me guess, you're here for the gold bottle. Why are you guessing that, sir? Is that the fragrance that all the black, the, the dope boys like? The black folks like? Like, I, I, felt, I, I felt like I was being profiled. I felt like I was being stereotyped. And I felt like he might have been right because I did buy my husband a gold bottle a few years ago. I did. But I've been on TikTok and on YouTube, and they've been talking about Creed Adventures for men. So I'm here for that today. What you? So I got this for my husband, and you see the bottle's empty. Girl, let me tell you something. Family, he put this on. Because, again, I didn't smell it when I was at the counter. I just said, hey, give it to me. I'm blind buying everything, right? When I tell you, I wanted to rip him apart. I wanted to be like, take everything off right now in this car. We're not going to date night. That stuff smells so goddamn good. I want you right here, right now. So I hope everybody watching me grown. Because that's what Creed Adventures do to you. So, also, I want to be transparency. We got more fragrances coming, family. Because Harrods had a um, sale. And I wanted to get the because it smells so good on him. I done messed around and order Creed Adventures for her. So I can't even tell you how it smell, but this one smells so good on my husband. I done got, we going to match. And don't wear that cologne outside the house without me. Because I ain't going, they not going to be coming on you like that. I brought um, the Narcisco Rodriguez, the Rose, um, is it Muse? Music? Muir Rose. Now, you know this one was popular on TikTok a few years ago. I like it, but I will say when I wear it, I don't really get that many compliments on it, but I purchased it again. And one thing about dealers, like some of these had to be shipped to me, right? Why was they shipped without the plastic on it? Why was Creed, why was the box all dusty and, and had no wrapping on it? But I will say when I sprayed it, you know how you know when something's been used because as soon as you squirt it, it's going to come right out if it's been used before. I was spraying, I sprayed this one, nothing came right out. I didn't test this one yet, but... I'm feeling like everything needs to be wrapped in plastic. How do I know this is not a return? How do I know this is not a return for a knockoff? Somebody done try to buy on some knockoff website and try to just return it back to dealer. Like, I want my stuff to be wrapped in plastic. So I will say, dealers, y'all got to do better with that because y'all can't send somebody a four, over $400 bottle of um, cologne and it's not presented right. Because it was, I mean, the package was all scraped up. I'm like, what are y'all going through? So, I'm sorry. Let me just keep continue on. This right here, one of my favorite Fragrance houses, can you see it? Initio. Now, we've, everybody's probably heard of Ooh for Greatest. If you haven't, we're going to get into that later. We're going to talk about it in another video where I'm going to actually test it and let my husband test it because it's a unisex fragrance that leans more masculine, of course. I feel like it's for the boys. But we're going to talk about that one. Their side effect is good. This one, I got the, um, it's like a discovery set. So this one right here has Rehab, Must Therapy, Side Effect, Atomic Rose, Ooh for Greatness, and Bless. Is it Baraka? I don't know what that is, but all I know is it doesn't have the other one that I wanted. I wanted um something aphrodisiac. So if you tried that one before, let me know what you think about that one because I did get that on a tester at Saks, and I it was like something something aphrodisiac, but it's by Anisio. I love this, so I want to hear your thoughts on um if I'm missing anything in the collection that y'all feel like it needs to be a part of my new collection as I'm trying to build back up my fragrance collection. We got a few more, okay? I got the Chanel Mademoiselle. Coco, they say this is a classic that all the ladies have to have. I'm like, eh, when it comes to Ch Coco, you know, Chanel fragrances, because sometimes they can give up that old, old lady scent that just does not go well with my my palette, what I what I like. Um, but they said this is this is the girl to have. Um, I'm gonna try it. The lotion was okay. I will say I do like Chanel Chance. I think it's the tender one, it's the pink one. My daughter likes the green one. I like the pink one. So hopefully I'm a little bit more mature and I can handle this. And then I think last but not least, I brought um, Oob Satin Mood by MFK and Maison Francis Curtijon. Okay, this is the maker of um, 
the, the world famous, and I think which is my signature scent, Baccarou, Baccarat Rouge 540. But y'all was sleeping on this one right here. This smells good. This smells like a nice, cozy hug. It has food in it, but it's not too strong. It's not too heavy. Uh, I'm feeling this one right here, and I actually mixed this. I did wear this. Okay, you see it's out of the plastic. This actually came wrapped in plastic. I wore this one right here, so I can, I can actually do a review on this one. The um, Clean Reserve Skin, if I wanted to. The Kama Sutra. The Creed for my husband. The um, Narcisco Rodriguez. But we're not going to do that today. Today was strictly a haul. And we will get into how these actually perform um, later on in another video. But what else we got? And these samples right here from BDK. I, I, I might even do the little sample. BDK Parfum. They sent me um, Tuberose Imperial and Banquet Day Hungry, Hungry Air. So we can get into these too. Y'all not gonna believe this. Why did the camera just cut off talking about internal heat is too high or something like that? So anyway, like I was saying, I think we're done here with all the fragrances. Like I'm I'm like, you know what? I wanna open these so bad. So I'm so happy that we got to try this haul. Oh, we forgot. Hold on. I'm not my bad. I'm sorry. We forgot I got this one for um free in that um gift bag that I won. This is Jimmy Choo. I've already tried this one and it was not um it wasn't my my flavor, but we're going to still review it. We're going to do a video on it for y'all to see in case it's somebody else's flavor. Because one thing about fragrance, what I like, you might not like. We might like the same things because I'm I'm really trying to test out what's popular right now. And usually when fragrances are popular, it's for a reason. So it, it, the, the masses have agreed that this is a good scent for generally. But of course, you're going to have the ones that give you a headache, the ones you can't smell, you can't stand certain you know, sensing them and things like that. So I will say this Jimmy Choo right here. Mm -mm, nope. Not even a little bit. And then what's this? I got a Gucci Bloom lotion that was just randomly put in the gift bag. So I think we're good on the haul. So that completes our haul. Make sure you follow my channel. I would love for you to um, keep in touch with me. Follow. Make sure you like, you share, you subscribe. If you know anyone who's in the fragrances, like I am, tell them to follow the, the, the page because we're going to be doing a lot more reviews, a lot of first impressions because a lot of these I have not tried to, um, I would love for you to get my response or my reaction to them on camera. But again, like, share, and subscribe for more um, videos. We're going to have some fun with these. I can't wait to mix and match them. And what are your thoughts? Is there something that you feel like, Maria, girl, since you're trying to rebuild your fragrance collection, try this because I love this. This is tried and true. Get out of my video! Get out! Before you end, I just gotta say, remember what I told you. If you ever need to give your spouse, like your male spouse, a gift, you get from the YSL. It's still regular. You know? And you heard Izzy. He said the YSL. Which one? It's a lot of YSL. Go get it. Go get it. And I'm trying to wrap this video. So make sure, you guys, if you want to keep up with me, my blogs, fitness, food, lifestyle, family, and then what Maria be buying. Actually, that should be that should be the name of the segment. Maria be buying everything. So I'm about to be buying fragrances, food, you know, anything. Oh, he's back. Okay. That one right there? Let me see. Okay. Alright, let me see. What does it say on it? It just says Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, he's saying this one right here is the one to get. It's the one to get, baby. It's the one to get right there. All right, thank you, Izzy. You go. What? He is a mess. All right, you guys, I would love to um, connect with you all, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. And we are going to be going through all of these fragrances. So if you're a fragrance girl like myself or you know someone that is, make sure you send them this video. Like, share, subscribe. Let them know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting to all of these and breaking all of them down. But I want to just show you what I got right now as far as me trying to rebuild my collection. And like I said, if you know some fragrances, some you'll try to true, or maybe you have like a, um, a signature scent that you think I, you know, you see what I'm into right now. If you have a signature scent or a recommendation that you feel like I've missed out on, put in the comments. Let's chat. Let's talk about it. So thank y'all so much for watching, and I will catch y'all next time.
did you did you care if I was recording? If I'm working right now? Did you? So I don't really like this. I don't like that one either. <clears throat> Thank goodness that it was gifted to me. I'm not feeling the Jimmy Choo. At first, it, I thought it was Juicy Couture. It looks nice, though. Look, like. look, looks may be deceiving. Deceiving, yes. Mm -hmm. You better say looks may be deceiving. <laughs> this is recommended. You like that one? Yeah, I Ooh, like that's it. That's a little bit mature for a, yes, a, young, a mature, young palette as Respectable as scent. You know. And don't think, don't, he ain't playing with you. No, no, please don't spray that right now. Please don't spray it. So you must not like. Don't think he don't know what he's talking about, because the young man, at his young age of fourteen years old, has a very um, extensive fragrance collection. Matter of fact, you go you gonna do some reviews. Sorry, just gotta. They, did they want to see it? They no, they didn't want to see actually I mean, my. My audience, you 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 look too young for my audience. They don't want to see that. I be working. That's out. inappropriate. I be working out with my shirt off, so you know. It's for their daughters. Huh? Show their daughters. Yeah. You know the vibe. Yeah. You say, I say Okay, you going I'm filming right now. You gonna keep it quiet? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Is your dad gonna come up the steps from the gym making noise, or am I good for a few minutes? Be good for like five minutes. For like five minutes. Keep watching the game, okay. All right, All right well. Okay. Hey, can you focus on me?